Hello guys, welcome to our weekly trading guide. So, ngayong araw, i-discuss natin kung ano yung market outlook for next week. Plus, we will look for some bargains dito sa ating mga blue chips. And, i-discuss din natin yung mga ilang stock request nyo. Okay. So, sa PSEI muna tayo. So, PSEI ended in green. But, it's still in correction mode. So, makikita natin it's uh, above MA100. So, okay pa naman. But, we can see a huge, huge volume last Friday because of the put series balancing. Every time na may rebalancing, we can... Uh, expect that there will be a huge volume like this one so this one is msci rebalancing this triggers rally that we had last two weeks and then ngayon may footsie rebalancing tapos na and hopefully successful kasi hindi naman nag break ng ma100 or hindi nag below dito sa 6115 or 6150 uh, but for the next week, so what do you expect? Okay, so let's check the US market. What happened to US market? Okay, so the so US market, it's a bit uh, correction. Yeah, so from rally around up to to 7.59 now it's correcting uh, itong part na to, this is where Jerome Powell saved the market parang babagsak na yung market and then sabi niya they will continue to buy individual bonds so nagrally ulit yung market and then what happened so during the recovery mode nag drop ulit siya last Friday Medyo malaki yung volume last Friday. So, intraday. Intraday is quite good. Kasi, nag-gap nag up open siya. Pero, after that, it goes downward. May counting recovery, pero it's still close. Negative. Okay. So, what happened? Medyo nagka-correct si US market because of the news. News that yung second wave. Okay, so alam naman natin there's a second wave of COVID. Pero ang mga problema talaga doon is the lockdown. If there's another lockdown, then we, we cannot uh, avail to have another lockdown kasi the economy can't absorb. So, Apple announces that it will uh, shut some of its stores again due to rising COVID-19. So, yun yung nag-trigger sa US market to drop. Kasi, if there's another lockdown, if there's another closure of the store, syempre, may effect sa kanilang uh, financial system or sa kanilang uh, earnings for the next season. So, uh, in the Philippines, let's check. In the Philippines, uh, we can see some uh, foreign selling, continuous foreign selling. So, medyo mabigat na yung foreign selling natin. It's uh, 1 billion, more than 1 billion every day. Maliban dito, pero 3 days is straight. And then, sa food series balancing is another huge NFS or net foreign selling. Um, so, this week, uh, one thing pa pala, one thing in US market. Let's check the Nasdaq. All right, so the Nasdaq naman ito yung uh, tech company index of tech company. So we can see that it it's already uh, making a double top pattern. So medyo nag double top na siya dun. attempt to make a higher high. All time high na kasi ito ni Nasdaq. So, nag-correct. Nag uh, 
medyo malakas yung rally because of the tech company like Apple, Facebook, Google. Kasi sila yung magpa-profit sa uh, pandemic. So, after na nag-correct, and then another high, trying to break the all-time high, then close a thread. Kasi magkakaroon nga ng closures to Apple, less huge volume. And then we can see we have some divergence doon, both MACD and RSI. So, RSI is making a lower high, same as with MACD. So, we are expecting correction from US market. So, sa Philippines, we are on a support level around uh, 6,155 so yun yung support natin. So, we are uh, expecting to retest to make the market will make a retest to this area this week and probably if the narrative doesn't change or maghalimbawa or magworsen pa uh, we can see it around yan so up to 595 support kasi medyo malaki yung foreign selling natin our SIS going down with the same as MACD as well. So, yeah. So, this week, we are uh, expecting the market to correct further up to this support area. So, ngayon, what will happen to our stocks? So, let's check by sector. Okay. So, uh, financials. Dito makikita natin yung chart ng buong financial system is... Uh, in U-shape recovery. So, normally, nasa support naman si financials. So, hindi siya leading sector for, for uh, this recovery. Next is uh, holdings. Okay. So, holdings, makikita natin ito talaga yung leader. Kasi yan, lalaki ng volume niya. Plus, nagra-rally talaga siya. And even, nagko-correct yung market. The holdings are consolidating above. Pero masyado nang mataas yung mga holdings company like ACS and MPI. So dito natin makikita yung mga holding firms. Ayan. So AC, MPI. So kita natin lahat nagra-rally. Yes, MJGS. Okay, so uh, holdings, uh, yan yung leader. Tingnan natin kung may makikita tayong bargain dyan. Properties, eto. Parang kamukha lang siya ng holdings, ah, ng financials. Okay, so, uh, may makikita tayo mga bargain sigurado sa properties. Plus, meron sila kasi na yung mga uh, catalyst. Nag-increase yung kanilang uh, rent during this lockdown. Services is nag-rally. So, wala na tayo. Halos makikita ang mga... Tingnan natin. Bloom. ICT. Pure Gold, Globe. So, lahat sila ang tataas na, no? So, halos hindi tayo makakuha ng bargain dito. Okay, so, sa ngayon is uh, financials and properties. Anyway, check natin lahat. Okay, so, discuss natin itong mga stock request nyo. And anyway, uh, mix kasi yung mga stock request, no? May, may blue chips. May second liner, may third liner, tapos may mga speculative. So, ang ginawa ko, um, just to clarify things, um, ang valuation is only effective for blue chips. Okay? Sa blue chips lang tayo nag uh, bumper gain hunt. Pwede rin yan sa second liner, kaya lang ang problema sa second liner hindi may masyadong nag, ginagamit yung valuation play kasi maraming second liner na under value pero hindi siya tinitrade above for example uh, let me give you an example katulad nung, so katulad nung sinasabi ko kanina sa second liner uh, hindi ka pwede mag uh, bargain hunt kasi maraming second liner ang under value but they are still trading below dun sa kanilang book value and considered as always under value and hindi pinaprice in yung kanilang uh, valuation For example sa banks ang ginagamit natin yan is book value so dapat uh, masasabi mong under value yan if the price to book 
ratio is below 1. Okay, so pag below 1, under value. Now, look at the UBP, 0.63. Okay, sec B is point six. although sec B is uh, blue chips. Uh, pero syempre, nag-correct gawa ng dahil sa MSCI. So, we can consider sec B as uh, undervalued. And, uh, nag-trade above yan sa 1.5 to 1.8 price to book. So, definitely undervalued to. Pero RCB, 0.39. Ang totoong price niyan sa book value is 43. Pero 17 lang siya. 49. PNB is uh, 0.21. Okay, so mga second liner lang na. As you can see, sa so BDO and BPI, uh, they are above 1.18. Yung isa 1.18 and then yung isa is 1.2. Kasi they are uh, blue chips. Uh, another uh, Bargain is MBT 0.57 But um, since hindi masyadong gusto ng investors, ng foreign investor yung MBT It is always traded near 1, near 1 price to book So ngayon, under value pa rin to PNB is, uh, ang book value niya is 97 Okay, 0.21 ang price to book so, 97 ang book value. Tingnan natin kung nag-above ng 97 pa. Since 2016, hindi pa siya umabot ng 97. So, habang gumaganda yung earnings, tumataas naman yung book value. Kung mababa yung earnings, mababa yung book value. So, dito, hindi natin alam kung ilan yung book value niya dito. Yung malapit, 97, pero 21 lang yung price. Kita nyo, hindi, hindi umaabot din. Unlike ni MBT. Ani uh, tinan natin sa pa. Mm, BPI. BPI ang book value niya is 60. So BPI 60 ang book value niya sa ngayon just na earnings niya pero uh, seldom mo siya makikita nag-trade below 60. Dito lang, kasi nag nagkaroon ng pandemic, syempre, nagkaroon ng mapanik. Pero, for the last years, pihira natin siya makita mag below 60. Dito, nagkaroon siya ng 60, 64, 2012 pa naman daw. So, probably, mababa pa yung book value niya dito, hindi pa above 60. Pero, currently, 60 siya. So, for the last uh, 5 years, 6 years, 7 years, hindi siya nag below 60. So, ganun. Okay na. Sa blue chips, dun lang gumagana yung valuation and bargain hunt. Kapag gusto mo mag-trade ng second liner or basura stocks, speculative stocks, hindi ginagamit ng valuation yun. Minsan pwede pero ang kailangan mo talaga doon is catalyst. There should be a catalyst or a story behind that you're buying the company para mag-rally. Otherwise, it will remain under value forever. Okay? Unless may mag -jockey. So, yun. So, dito sa mga stocks uh, request nyo, ang, ang hanap natin is mga bargain stocks, no? So, effective lang yan or applicable lang sa blue chips. So, yung iba, i-chart pa rin natin. Tinan pa rin natin yung mga second liner kasi may, may valuation pa rin naman and then may effect pa rin naman sa yung movement ng economy. Ang problema dito sa mga third liner stocks, may sariling mundo kasi ito. Uh, kahit pababa ang market, minsan kapag may nag-jockey, hindi siya sumasabay sa, sa, uh, sa global. Okay. Sige, simulan na natin. Charting na tayo. Request nyo, BDO. Okay. So, BDO is uh, currently nasa support. So, kung anong pinanood niya yung ating video last week. So, kasama to sa pinature natin. So, 100 must hold. No, dapat mag-hold yung ating 100 area. So, kung pag ngayon, pababa yung market natin, we are expecting it to retrace more. So, dapat mag-hold yung up to 97 area. 
Oh, so kung bababa yung market. Kung hindi magbago yung narrative doon. Pag hindi nagbago yung narrative natin, so pwedeng mag-correct yung market partner. So we will uh, wait for BDO to consolidate or to retest up to 97. Plus may negative news pa siya. Although wala namang financial impact yung news kasi wala namang nawalang pera sa kanila. Pero yung financial trust ng mga investors kasi employee nila yung gumawa. No? So in terms of value, BDO is still uh, under value because ang current price to book niya is 1.2 which is ang 10 years historical niya is near 2 or 1.98 so under value pa rin in terms of uh, FB or fair value is 1.22 so meron pa tayong upside kaya lang may negative news so better wait muna no? wait muna natin na bumaba then saka natin trade pa taas. So resistance niya is around here. 114. Ang bibili ka dito may upside ka na 15% near term. Pero sa pre-COVID leg, pre-COVID leg, uh, 132. Your value is 122. Ayan. Okay, next is DMC. DMC is still good. Okay, pwede natin itong i-bargain. So, kung mag-correct ang market, dito tayo. Below 4. Below 4 pesos. Kaya lang hindi maganda ang outlook ito for earnings kasi yung yung Semerara coal mining hindi ganun kaganda. Plus, uh, mas priority kasi ng, ng foreigners or foreign investor yung renewable energy. So medyo hindi ganun kaganda yung outlook for DMC. Pero yun namang eh, uh, water concessionaire nila is pwedeng mag-drive. So, wag aggressive sa DMC. Pwede dito sa area na to. Anyway, uh, mababa pa rin naman to. In terms of valuation, 6.73 compared to its uh, valuation of 12. So, medyo pwede pa. Okay pa in terms of valuation. In terms of chart, dito tayo. Their value is 8.77 Malayo, masyadong mataas So technically, dito lang yan mag-resist Ayan, dito Ayan uh, Ang ating titingnan is yung Pre-pandemic level So bago mag-pandemic, magkano Ayan, so ito na pala yung resistance na kanila 477 up to 5 pesos Pwede pero futuristic Hindi masyadong Maganda yung future For DMC Pero pwede siya Next is GTCAM Okay, GTCAP is may malaking rally. Uh, okay, din naman. Nagka-consolidate dito sa support. So, abangan natin dito. 434 kung bababa siya dyan this week. Pwede natin bilhin. And then, cut ka na lang pag nabasag yung support na yan. Another support is dito. 366. Okay. In terms of valuation, uh, mura pa rin to kasi 5.29 compared to valuation niya of uh, 18 times PE historically. So, mura pa. 
and then nagre-recover. Makikita natin yung news, nagre-recover siya in May. Yung car sales. So, pwede pa to. Uh, wag lang agresi bumili. Baka sa taas kayo makabili. Okay, next. Next chart is MBT. MBT. So, abangan natin kung nagsusupport siya ngayon. Gumagawa ng consolidation pattern. So, tingnan natin kung ma-hold niya to this week. Pag hindi. Okay, abangan natin dito sa 36. Next support, 36. And then, last support mo is Siyempre, yung all-time low. Ayan. 33. So, siguro naman hindi aabot sa 33 to. Or 36 lang. Or baka mag-hold na itong console. So, kung gusto niya talaga to, pwede naman dito. Kaya lang, medyo mabagal itong RBT. Baka mag-consolidate muna yung mga banks. Pero, fundamentally, mamura lang itong RBT. Di ba, na-discuss na natin ito kanina. Uh, current is 0.57 book value. Historically is uh, 1.6. So, malaki yung upside nito. For long term, good to. Basta sa baba ka lang bibili kapag long term. Okay, next. Next is MPI. MPI nagra-rally na siya dahil siguro... Uh, speculations to sa water contract nila with uh, president. Uh, pero, kung bibili kayo, actually, nasa resistance nito. And, tingnan natin kung magbe-break siya. So, given na uh, medyo bad yung market, hindi natin in-expect na mag-break out ito ngayon. So, baka mag-retest mag, uh, ulit dito. 3.36 Pero mataas na ito masyado. Although, although ano ito, um, ayun, uh, 5.41 P range current. So, historically, 10 years na is 15. So, mataas pa yung upside. Ang um, pure value is 6.3. 6.3. Hindi ito pa. Around dito. Pero at the current status niya sa technical technicals niya, dapat mag-retrace muna ito. So, gawa muna siya ng uh, higher low or consolidation dito bago siya mag-breakout pataas. Pwede ba yung breakout pero delikado. Abang na lang dito sa baba. Mababa yan this week, hopefully. Para makapasok tayo. Next is uh, sec B. Sec B is uh, consolidating at 100 area. Ayan, 100 area level. So, nag-hold like, siya. Bago mag-MSCI, nandiyan siya. Tapos, after MSCI, bumagsak. And then, ngayon, nag-recover. So, ibig sabihin, dito talaga yung... Ito talaga yung proper valuation for the recent time or for, for this time, for this uh, pandemic. Dito muna siya. 100... Pero kung looking forward ka sa banks, although late sila magre-recover, pero pwede naman. Secv is uh, also undervalued. Okay, Secv. Hmm. Secv. Um, 0.64 ang price to book niya 10 years is 1.59 so may upside ka pa rin dito so under value pero tingnan natin kung mag hold dito ngayon this week so hopefully mag hold yung 100 if not 
92. Pero baka mag-hold yan. Matagal yung mga banks. Matagal siya mag-hold yung mga banks. So, hindi dapat tayo aggressive. And kung bibili ka ito, dapat try ka for the long haul. So, ang um, valuation ng CFB is 157. Pure value. Pero technically, dito muna yan. 115. Kung magbe-breakout sa kanan tayo, hindi ko pupunta. Ayan, 154. So, may upside ka kung 100. 13%. This is MPH. So, last 2 na lang. Last 2. Sa blue chips. Okay? Blue chips muna tayo, ha? SMPH. SMPH is so uh, break out sa consolidation and then nag correct ito yung kanyang uh, new support area so hopefully mag hold itong area na to 30 pesos let's see next week kung mag hold yung 30 next niya is 28 28. Medyo hindi maganda yung outlook kasi yung mga malls. Although nag-operate na sila. So, tingnan natin. Uh, pag bumalik yung foreign fund, sigurado ito naman yung pabalikan nila. So, tingnan natin yung valuation. SMPH. SMPH is 24 currently. 24.19. Historically nyo is 27. So, mataas. May upside ka pa. <clears throat> Dati nag-trade to about 35. 32 to 35 PE. So, rich, rich valuation to. Although ngayon, mababa yung fair value niya. 29 lang. Kasi nga, may pandemic. Plus, sila yung hardly hit. Kasi yung mga malls hindi nag-operate agad. Plus, ngayon, nag-operate 50%. So, for long term, this is good stock and uh, good entry level should be 2850 kung bababa siya this week pwede tayong magabang 2850 or 29 or 30 pala okay next is uh, last pala last for blue chips is URC Okay, so for URC, this is actually uh, making a retest dun sa support area. Ito. So hopefully, mag-hold yung 127 this week. Sana lang. If not, baka bumaba siya dito sa hanggang dito. 21 or baba kasi yung 116, 116. Medyo liquid kasi ng konti ito. In terms of uh, blue chips, masyadong maliit yung mga as in bid. So, 116. Medyo malaki yung foreign side. Um, in terms of valuation, hindi ito uh, cheap. Expensive na ito si URC, kaya nga siya binibentahan. So, ang current PE niya is 37 pero ang 10 years historically lang niya is 24.9 so medyo mahal na ito talaga kung sa 116 tayo bibili hindi nagbabago kahit 110 mahal pa rin ito 100 25.4 so 100 lang yung 100 lang. Although ang fair value niya is 149 kasi kasi this is a mix of discretionary and non-discretionary. Yung kasi mga products niya is food. Pero yung iba is uh, mga candy, mga ganun, mga uh, junk foods. So, 
maganda naman yung future niya kasi under consumer products to consumer sector plus food so pwede pa tayong bumili justified yung high PE niya high PE ratio is being justified by the, by the sector itself because people are buying foods prioritizing foods nowadays no? so dito tayo sa 116 hopefully 116 Pwede rin mag-test by dito sa 126, 127. And then, second tranche is 116. Pag nakabutas pa yung 116, then we should uh, lighten some position. Okay, so yan muna kasi masyado ng mahaba. Blue chips muna tayo. Gawa tayo ng other videos para doon sa mga request nyo na second liner and speculative. So for now, Dito muna tayo magtatapos. Mamaya gagawa uli ako ng another charting session para doon sa mga speculative na request niya. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Sana may nakuha kayo ngayong araw. Like